Hey there, YouTubers. All right, back at it again. We're out here at my uh, lab bench out in the garage, and I'm going to finish up my initial um, series about how I learned to ballast. So uh, quick, uh, let's do a little bit of a recap. Um, if you've seen any of my other videos, um, you know, I, I, I probably started them by complaining about Easy Track and my journey with that product and said, well, you know, if I'm going to redo my layout, I need to learn how to really lay some tracks. So uh, what I did was I got a uh, three foot um, piece of Atlas Flex Track and put it on a piece of foam. And what I did was I just I just started playing with different adhesives and uh, with some uh, Woodland Scenics uh, HO um, track bed, put that on there, put the easy track on there. And then, uh, you know, once I got that done, I started to uh, play around with ballast. And I've done three different um, ballast uh, uh, applications at this point. And I wanted to review with you guys uh, what I've come up with thus far. And looking for um, feedback from the Model Railroad community, the YouTube community. And uh, tell me what I did well, what I did wrong, and what I could do better. Um, I think I already know what I did uh, poorly, and we'll get into that now. So, if you look at this, this test piece that I have here, I've actually done it in three different sections. Once I got done with, you know, actually laying down the roadbed and the track, then I started ballasting. And this first section right here is 100% uh, Woodland Scenics medium ballast the gray color so that's what what I've got right here so um, I laid that down and if you look you can see I did a pretty poor job on this and there's a couple of reasons why first reason is inexperienced it's my first time laying down um, ballast and uh, you know I just didn't have a good feel for it so that's that's the first reason but there's other reasons as well when I when I laid this down it did not look nearly as poor as it does right now and what I did was when, when I sprayed it with the glue here's what I did I uh, used my Woodland Scenics uh, Scenic Sprayer and I did a um, mixture of Elmer's white glue uh, one-third Elmer's white glue and two-thirds warm water mixed it up um, you know, got it to uh, a, a good consistency that was very sprayable, um, thought I was ready to go, and I said, wait a minute, I need to put a couple of drops of soap in here to uh, break down surface tension. I had learned that on YouTube, and I went for it. Well, if you look closely, you can see like that divot right there. You can see the foam breaking through there, and just generally speaking, a really grainy you know texture and what happened was as I sprayed it the uh, um, the, the the solution of water and glue even though I did put those those drops of uh, di um, dishwashing soap in there um, it started beating up on the surface so I said okay stop let me put a little bit more soap in here and uh, it made no effect at all so I just went with it, and uh, you can see the results here. It did not come out anywhere near what I had hoped. So lesson learned. So I'm glad I was doing this on test track. So I went back to the drawing board and uh, did some research online and read about people um, pre-soaking or pre-spraying before the application of the glue with alcohol and then I had heard people just add the alcohol to the glue and I had heard they they cut the alcohol with um, uh, water and uh, you know what I decided to do was I was just going to go straight alcohol which I saw some people do and what I did was I had to go get some alcohol first of all and I was looking for a sprayer you know the the, the scenic um, sprayer from Woodland Scenics it's it's nice um, but it, it throws down a lot of water they are in. It, it's not a mist. It's more of like a, um, spray, like, uh, you know, like a household cleaner type spray. And I saw this, I was in Walmart picking up a couple of things and I saw this guy there for two bucks. And when I looked at the nozzle and the spray head, I said, you know what? This guy looks like it would mist very well. So on a hunch, I picked it up, and that's exactly what it does. It lays down um, alcohol almost like a vapor, which is exactly what I wanted. 
So, here's what I did on this section. This is the second section I did. This is a 50-50 mix of Woodland Scenics Medium Ballast Gray and then the Light Gray. So, I mixed those together, 50-50, um, exact ratio, and laid that down. And, you know, my craftsmanship was better on this one because I was a little bit more skilled at it. I used a, a spoon and my New York Yankees cup. It's not only good for baseball and beer, but it's good for ballast as well, apparently. So um, I laid it down, did a nice, you know, fairly good job on that. Not perfect, but uh, laid that down and then gave it a real good dosing with this alcohol right here. And uh, it came down in a real fine mist and I let that sit for a little bit. Then went through and using a pipette, um, I laid down the uh, the solution of glue and it worked perfect. I mean, it's this is uh, rock hard, but um, you know it looks to me at least my eyes very smooth. I had no drama whatsoever with that surface tension. It worked very well, um, so I was happy with that. I got these pipettes at a, um, I think it was Michael's, um, like a craft store, and it was in the hobby section where they had like a lot of um, uh, kits that you would buy, like, um, you know, small kits for children to do like science experiments. I think there was $2 for those three pipettes. So I used, you know, this one, the big one, but if you needed to really get into some detailed work, for three bucks, it came with, you know, a pipette that was a smaller diameter and then even that micro one right there if you can see it so uh, I only used the big one but it worked perfect so uh, that worked out very well so waited uh, the next day came up and came downstairs saw it it had dried and I was very happy with the results the only thing though was it looked to me a little bit too bright the color as if there was too much white so I thought well, maybe I'll, I'll, I'll cut this, you know, 60% the gray, 40% the light gray. Um, and then I went to work, stopped the truck near a, uh, you know, a railroad right near by my home. And uh, I'm in the Atlanta area, so it's a CSX uh, track that goes uh, through my, you know, near my home. And went out there and I took a look at the track. And what I noticed was... It is a light gray and a dark gray mixture, but there's also a pinkish color in there. Um, and that pink color comes naturally from the rock and also from rust coming off of, um, you know, the different metal components on the tracks. So I did a little bit of research and I found this company online called Arizona Rock and Mineral Company. And... You know, I had heard some really good things about them in that their ballast is actually real ballast, meaning it's, you know, the guy takes rocks, and I don't know what he does. I mean, he's got a grinder out in his backyard, but he grinds these down. Um, he's got a bunch of different colors, a bunch of different um, sizes or gauges of this ballast. Um, kind of gave me the impression that uh, he's kind of running a side business out of his house. I, I don't know. I could be 100% wrong, but... Uh, I gave it a shot and, um, you know, placed an order. The next day it was in the mail. Um, very easy experience. He sent it through. You could see it's kind of, uh, it's not nearly, you know, the uh, finesse of the Woodland Scenics. But um, the product is great. It's real rock. Um, the color is this mauve color that I selected. And here's the result. The last bit that I did, and I'm going to try to zoom in here. I'm, I'm doing this off of a uh, iPhone 5S, so it's not exactly a uh, you know professional video quality, but I think that's as close as I can get. But what you can see is I did a 40-40-20 mix. So it's 40% uh, light gray, 40% medium gray, and then this... Arizona Rock and Mineral Company, this mauve color, about 20% on there. And actually, it's, it's ex exactly 20%. And I uh, measured it very well, so I, I would know where I would stand, you know, for the future. And I like it a lot. Um, it gave me that little bit of pink color that I see that naturally occurs in the ballast in my area. And it also, you know, in some spots, it looks like rust, 
coming off of the track, which naturally occurs as track weathers. So I'm pretty happy with that. That worked out well. Um, I put them into uh, the Yankee Cup 40-40-20 uh, mix, mix it up with a spoon, shook it, and uh, laid that down, did my alcohol um, mist, and then uh, went ahead and uh, used the glue with the pipette. So uh worked out very well. So I'm interested if any of you out there, um, I'm curious to see what you guys think. I mean, the 50-50 the gray and light gray looks very sharp. Um, the 40-40-20 of the light gray, dark gray, and Arizona Rock and Mineral Company Mauve, that looks, uh, you know, that's a, a, a different look. I think it's more accurate, at least to the railroad in my area. Um, but I'm not sure which way to go. I'm absolutely not going with just the dark gray, um, which is what I thought I would do when I first got into ballasting. It just seemed like the natural choice. You know, gray rock, um, gray ballast, that's what you see on the railroad, throw it down. But once I actually got it down, I said, you know, that, that does not look natural. Um, there's a, a, a lot more variation in real life. And above and beyond my, my poor application of the product, just that 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 dark gray, um, you know, 100% consistency, it's not natural. So I, I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I like the 50-50, looks really good. Um, but I also like the 40-40-20. So if anybody would care to uh, give me an opinion, I'm all ears. I'd love to hear about it. So uh, let's go over once again, you know, what I did to do this. So uh, I used a spoon. I used the Yankee Beer Cup to uh, mix up the materials. That was Woodland Scenics Medium Ballast Light Gray, Dark Gray. Um, Arizona Rock and Mineral Company, the Mauve, which is real rock, whereas the Woodland Scenics is, uh, I believe it's walnut shells. Um, so a couple of a couple of things to think about there. Oh, I also used you know the pipettes and some uh, you know model paintbrushes that I had. Elmer's glue. And that was about it. But uh, a couple of considerations with the ballast. I've read online where some people say, hey, you know, go with the Arizona Rock and Mineral because it's real rock. It's more dense. You won't have the surface tension issue. It holds in place, so on and so forth. Um, here's what I would say to that. If you apply the 70% uh, rubbing alcohol in this mister that I used right here, you are not going to have an issue with the Woodland Scenics. It stays exactly to form. I mean, what I've got there is exactly what I laid down. There was no, um, uh, you know, when I when I was when I was misting it, there was no um, variation. It didn't pool up or anything like that. It stayed exactly where it was. Um, so, where some people would say, "Hey, you got to go with the." Uh, the natural rock to hold position, not accurate. As long as you missed it with the alcohol, you're not going to have a problem there. The one thing I, I, I would tell you is the, 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 the Arizona rock and mineral ballast is way heavier than the Woodland Scenics, which would make sense if the Woodland Scenics is made out of walnut shell husks and the Arizona is real rock, well, certainly uh, doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure that out. Now, if you had a small layout, who cares? But if you were somebody who had like one of these real massive layouts, um, you know, you're going to be adding a lot of weight uh, using that real lock, rock, I think. If you need modular, if you need portable, it might be a consideration for you. For me, no big deal. I really just like the color. Uh, Woodland Scenics did not have a uh, equivalency to that um, Arizona Rock and Mineral Mauve. I think Woodland Scenics has like a rust color, but that was a little bit too red for my liking. So uh, that's where I'm at. I think I am halfway decent at laying uh, ballast now, laying uh, out um, real Atlas flex track. In the future, I'm probably going to get pick up a piece of uh, Pico uh, streamline track. I want to compare that to the Atlas, both uh, from a functional perspective as well as an aesthetic uh, perspective. I'm going to take a look at that uh, before I make a decision on what I'm going to do. But uh, Thought you guys would be interested, and I am certainly interested in hearing uh, what you think about the 50-50 mix versus the 40-40-20. So uh, I'll wrap it up, and uh, hopefully you guys uh, get something out of this. So thank you very much, and let me know uh, what you think. Thank you.